What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over how to drive to the basket against tough defenders. Let's get started. Alright guys, well like I said, we're going to go over a couple of different ways to protect the basketball against tough defenders when driving towards the basket. But before we dive into the first one, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join Think Pro Basketball and check out all the great content that we're releasing every single week designed to help you take your game to the next level. Now I'm going to go over two different ways to help you protect the basketball as you're driving into the paint to score at the rim. This is a time where defenders are raking at the basketball, try to steal it and get you off balance before you try to finish an attempt at layup at the rim. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the ability to protect and cup the basketball. So if I'm driving towards the basket and as I get in here, this is when a lot of defenders start to collapse and try to get in your way before you get to the rim. So what can you do to protect the basketball in order to get the ball all the way to the rim? The way I like to get in here is when I get here and I know I'm about to stride in, meaning I know I'm about to pick it up after my last dribble, a lot of players will leave the ball open where it gives it an opportunity for the defenders to knock it loose. But what you want to do is when you get in here is to protect it. So a way to protect it rather than putting it here is to bring it into your body because once you bring it in tight and now defenders are trying to poke at it and all that, you'll draw fouls, you'll be able to hold on to it and still get the ball up at the rim. So as we attack, we want to get in here. Now we want to, we want to cradle the basketball. So we have it in this position here, where as we're here inside the lane, we're able to protect it. And then as I take that last step, I can bring it out to finish at the rim as if I was taking a normal layup, okay? So all we want to do with this drill is attack from the wing area, get inside the paint, cradle the ball for your last two steps. So after I take that last step, pick up that ball, I go one, two, and after that second step, I'm going to start to release it to then go into my layup to score at the basket. But we want to make sure that when we're attacking and the defense is sucking in and trying to take the ball away from us, we have to be able to protect it so we can finish at the basket. So I'm going to show you what this looks like right now in full speed. All right, guys, moving on to the next part. Again, when we're inside the paint, you're gonna get a lot of players trying to come in here and defend what you're trying to do, whether it's stealing the basketball, poking it free, whatever it may be. But we wanna make sure that when we get in here, we keep the ball away. So if you're not going to pick the ball up and use the cradle, another thing you can do to get in between, especially as a guard, is keep the ball low. So for me as a player, I'm dribbling the ball upright, but I know when I get in here, I've got to get in this position here to get by the defender to score. Because if I'm upright, that means the ball is dribbling a lot higher than it is down here. It's harder for the defender to steal the ball at that position than it is me being in an upright position. So what I want you to do with this drill is to simp simply stay upright, attack here. Now once you get inside the paint, break yourself down Stay low so you can get through the defenders who are trying to steal the basketball from you and then get a ball up quickly at the basket. So we get in here, boom, we stay low, we cross over and we just scoop it right up at the basket. So we go from that low position to getting the ball up quickly before the shot blockers can get there to block the shot and before a defender can get their hand on it to steal it. All right, so again, dribble upright, attack, get in here. You see the defenders are coming in on the collapse, boom, break yourself down scoop it up, and score, just like that. All right, so here's the second drill. Check it out in full speed.
All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. Two drills to help you beat defenders when attacking the basket. If you like to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know what you think. After that, again, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join Think Pro Basketball and check out all the great content that we're releasing every single week. Now, it's your job to hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember to always keep hooping.